2016 and another win for Donald Trump. We won with young, we won with old, we won with highly educated, we won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. Well, that's Trump after winning big in the Nevada caucuses with 46%, followed by Marco Rubio at 24%, and Ted Cruz at 21%. Ben Carson and John Kasich ended up at the back of the Republican pack. Now, the biggest test for the candidates is still ahead. Super Tuesday, which is also being called the SEC primary. We've been talking a lot about that. Georgia is one of several states holding contests next Tuesday, and it could be a game changer in the race for the White House. Here is what's at stake. Republicans, 595 delegates on their side, and 76 of those are in Georgia. 1,004, one rather, delegates on the Democratic side, 116 of those right here in Georgia. And is it isn't just the names you know who are vying for your vote. Our Mike Dunstan is live at Atlanta's Adamsville Rec Center voting location with a look at some of the candidates you might not have heard of, Mike. Sharon, this is one of the busiest spots for early voting here in Fulton County, the Adamsville Rec Center. Let's take you inside. You have a couple of people in here. They're kind of in a lull right now. Believe it or not, though, there are local presidential candidates looking for your support. You know Hillary, Bernie, Donald, Marco, Ted, Ben, and John, but do you know Eric? I'm fellow American. Today is a historic day. So I'm declaring my presidential candidacy. Sandy Springs businessman and entrepreneur Eric Alexander de Groot is running for president on the idea that more Americans should own their own businesses. It's really difficult to be a small business. It's really a, a, a problem. But at the same time, small businesses are the backbone of the United States. So if we continue to fail... You won't see his name on the official ballot because he was born in the Netherlands, not the USA. But I discovered a Metro Atlanta candidate who filed with the Federal Election Commission as a Republican presidential candidate. This afternoon, I talked with unemployed veteran Patrick Drake by phone about why he's running. The 44-year-old is from Grayson in Gwinnett County. When it comes to candidates on the Republican side, who would you be leaning toward voting for? Uh, I don't think I'd lean toward voting for anyone. Are you going to vote? Unlike these folks, Mr. Drake tells me nobody is, is exciting him enough to vote right now. Although there is a huge interest in early voting here in Metro Atlanta. Coming up in a story I'm working for, all new at 6 o'clock, I'll show you those numbers. And they are pretty astounding. We're live in Atlanta. Mike Dunstan, CBS 46 News. Mike, thank you for that. Republican presidential candidate Marco Rubio will make a stop here in Metro Atlanta this weekend. On Saturday, Rubio will be in Kennesaw at Ma Mount Perrin Christian School on Stanley Road. The event called Georgia Rally with Marco. It will begin at 1230. The doors open at 1130. And within the last 60 minutes, we've learned that Hillary Clinton will host an early voting rally Friday at Georgia State University. The event will take place at the Student Center on Piedmont and Gilmer Streets. Doors open there at 1115. If you'd like to RSVP, head to CBS 40 com slash campaign 2016. Don't forget, you can also get up-to-the-minute campaign news on our website. Certified.